Hi, everyone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can actually record your screen using Flipgrid, which is a really nice little feature of it. And then I'll show you at the very end how to trim it down to make sure it looks nice and clean. So it's really pretty easy. So you go to click on the button as if you were doing your Flipgrid like normal. Only you'd go over here to Options. And in Options, you click on something that said Record Screen. So you might have to have something for the first time. If this is the first time you're doing it, it might have to hit like Allow for permissions and th things like that. But after you hit Allow for the microphone and the camera, you can simply hit Start Screen Recording. And when you do that, what's going to happen is it'll give you a couple options here. I always choose entire screen. It just makes sure I don't ever miss something because sometimes you change tabs or things pop up or, or things like that. So I always just do this and then hit share. And then you'll say your three, your two, one. And right now I'm recording my screen, which of course I don't want this random stuff in my Flipgrid. So I go over to like my presentation or your poem or whatever you're doing. And I would hit present. So you go full screen. And then now it's listening to you. So I'm saying this is my, this is about phosphate and sugar. And then I can go to my next slide and keep on talking and keep on talking. All right. Now that I'm done, I can just simply go back and hit stop recording. And you can see here, let me. Like my now you can hear my voice. So there's this stuff here in the beginning and the end, of course, I don't want that. So what you can do is just simply trim it down. So if you click on the actual piece right here, these little blue bars will let you trim it down to only share what you want to share. Because inevitably, if you're screen sharing, you're probably going to have some stuff in the beginning and the end that you just don't really need. So use those little bars to make sure that you get exactly what you want and then hit confirm. And then when you do that, you have just your screen recording, which is what you want. And then you can just hit next and all the normal stuff like, like Flipgrid. Okay. So that should take care of your screen recording and your trimming. So you can easily record your screen using Flipgrid.